everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Alvaro Spice, back at it again with another match reaction. This time it's Manchester United, nil. Wolverhampton, nil. Guys, 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 guys. What a absolutely bad performance. Do apologize for that burp. <laughs> yes, guys. Manchester United, nil. Wolverhampton, nil. Bruno Fernandes' debut, two points dropped. We have dropped down to six. Absolutely disappointing match, disappointing result, disappointing performance. Everything with a triple D. Mm -hmm. Disappointing, disappointing, disappointing. The only thing that wasn't disappointing is to see Bruno Fernandes in the Manchester United shirt. I have to say, I was delighted to see Manchester United get, um, buy um, Bruno Fernandes. It's a player that I mean, we've been crying out for. But at the same time, it's not a player that was going to solve our problems, you know. Because at the end of the day, our problems lay beyond, you know, and above Bruno. So, like, it makes no difference whether we sign him or not. It's, it's a plus that we sign him. Yeah. But it don't make no difference in terms of what's going on in the Manchester United team. Yesterday's match, of course, was hard to watch as well at times you know there's a lot of people that, a, a few players who had a bad performance which i will highlight later on in the show but yeah let's get straight into it the first 44 40 minutes of that match manchester united pretty much even between the um, wolves you know wolves looked like they were going to score compared to us you know the only time we've had actual opportunity to score was bruno fernandez's shots his two shots, his long shots, and a couple that what's it called that you know, um was on target, and also another shot that he took, which was off target but was scared the goalkeeper, um which was the only thing on the only play that looked like he was capable of scoring because our striker, our um, midfielders, except Fred and Bruno, the rest was just abysmal, poor and average, all of them poor and average guys, have uh, it's disgusting. We ended up the f half time, you know, the first time, the first half, nil nil. Boring, boring, boring. You could have yawned, you know. It's even much more boring than an opera, you know. If you if you guys go and watch the opera, it is boring, you know. You can end up falling asleep. But yes, and then the second half started. Didn't look like we was going to do anything in the second half. In fact, we dropped. We not dropped, pushed back Bruno Fernandes to accommodate Andres Pereira because he was simply awful throughout the whole 90 minutes. He played 70 minutes. He was awful. He had, um, Bruno Fernandes had to drop just to accommodate his lack of shittiness. His lack of shittiness because he can't play centre mid. He's used to scoring forward as well, playing in the number 10 position. It's questionable of why the W Andres Pereira plays. But then again, we have people like Jesse Lingard, guys. And this is where we are. You have people like Jesse Lingard. We can't afford to pay Jesse Lingard. We can't afford to pay Andrews Pereira. But we have to. Just to make up the numbers. Because the quality isn't good enough. Absolute blame of a game um, Andrews Pereira had. Ah, oh, people are questioning him whether he's a Manchester United player, guys. Guys, do you think Andrews Pereira is a Manchester United player? You know, do you think he's good enough, you know, to cut the grass here? You know, not just play, but just cut the grass in our stadium, you know. Do you get me? Andres Pereira gave away so many chances, gave the ball away. He, he was trying to do tricks that wasn't working. And I, and I was asking myself, brother, what are you doing, fam? Just stop. Look to the bench and tell Oli, Oli, big man, big man, take, 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 just take me off, fam. It's not my day today. Take me off. Just take, take me off. So argue with me. Take me off. Shout at me like he shouted to that Jesse Lingard. One more time and you're off. Why don't you do that to me? Do that to me. I need to come off in the break. So people needed a break, need to come off. Absolutely horrendous. P abysmal performance, guys. Abysmal. He got stopped up in the 70th minute, which I thought he should have came off the second half. As soon as the second half started, or oh, 60th minute. If anything, if Oli has balls, or if Oli knew exactly what he was doing, he would have taken him off in the 60th minute. Or even the 55th minute would have been good enough and bring on Mason Greenwood. He brought on the right player. And then he brought on Jesse Lingard later on. <sighs> Guys. <sighs> Ended the match nil-nil. I have to say, 
disappointing again like guys i've said the result was disappointing but this goes back to like i said before like Manchester united throughout that whole game they didn't know that they can create anything in terms of um creating chances clear cut chances the only person that looked threatening was bruno fernandez yeah from from long range shots I, I believe if it wasn't for him we wouldn't have really had a shot on target Manchester united did it dangling passing the ball around side by side not knowing what to do like we look absolutely clueless absolutely clueless guys you know when it comes to playing football our pattern of play is clueless there's there's nothing there's no system there's no way of playing i feel for someone like bruno fernandes to come in here and have to sit back i saw a lot of things from bruno i saw leadership i saw him shouting and giving a go having a go at um, daniel james for his stupidity yeah, and that's what we need leadership in midfield we had that in defense with harry Maguire. now we have a leader who can calm who plays calm and calm down players in midfield and now we just need a leader in the, in, in, in the front line yeah and what was i saying about Manchester United? it was poor although we have bruno fernandez it's not going to solve our problems especially on the pitch it was poor and this always goes back down to 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 to, to the to the manager to coaching, basic coaching. They're not getting the basic things right. Pass the ball, you know, beat the second man, you know. Be get the second ball, you know. Have a rhythm about your play. No tenacity, no nothing, no urgency, no just no good, no pattern of play. And that goes back down to training. And I ask myself, week and week and week after every week, every game, do Manchester United train, guys? And in my previous videos, I've always highlighted we don't train all we do sit down and listen to Oli Gunnar Solskjaer tell you stories about 1999 oh when i was back in 1999 when i was young guys well i came on the pitch in the 90th minute stuck my leg out and voila boom bam blush we won 2-1 and won the champions league and now i'm a legend and i'm here guys that's my story that's my story what a fool man just what a fool like if anyone can't see and that's the reason why if we had good man good what well, no good ceo good owners you know good owners they will call downstairs and be like <clears throat> is it just pretend i was ed good evening ollie good evening yesterday i was in one of my shindings with these ever fellow ceos owners and businessmen of this world and the future businessmen and future leaders of the world for the next generation and they they sat there and insulted my team. Although, Oli, I am not a football expert. And I'm just a banker. Yeah? Why are, pe why are people telling us that we are rubbish? You know? I was watching with my best friend. You know? From the Abu Dubai family in PSG. Watching them play football. And everything was with the urgency. Everything was at speed. There was... And what's it called? There was a pattern of play, Oli. You know, I've been I've been talking to the, my fellow colleagues at Liverpool and Man City. I've watched them play, and they, and and I've been to Real Madrid and watched them play. The, my other colleagues are saying your team plays with no urgency, no identity. Ole, I know I know nothing about football. Mm -hmm, Cause my name's Edward, and I'm a banker. Yep, and I know about investment. But why are we playing like that? You tell me why I hired you, and we're playing like this. No speed. No pattern of play, no system, no nothing, no creativity. What are we doing in our training, colleague? If we had a manager that came downstairs and said, "Yo, right, what what is that? What is that I just saw?" If we had a chairman like that, what is that I just saw? I just saw that. You made me come out of nowhere, take my private helicopter, my private jet, from wherever I was, you know, to come to the stadium and to see that. Let's talk upstairs. Come, 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 come. Sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 Bruno. Sorry, Bruno. You don't, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. You know, I, I never expected it to be like this. You know, I, obviously, you know me, Ed Woodward. Don't know nothing about football. Just know about money. But right now, me and Oli need to talk upstairs, guys. Don't mind me, guys. Don't worry. We'll sort this out. If we had real owners like that, we wouldn't have this problem. But we don't. We have owners that just care about money. They won't come downstairs into the dressing room and shout at Ollie right in front of the players and say, if any of you guys ever play like that again, you're going to get the same treatment that Ollie has. We don't have that. We don't have a, a we don't have owners that will tell Ollie, come out in the office tomorrow in the morning. We've got a meeting. When Ollie sees that, it's pants on fire. We'll start training the team properly. 
You, 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 exactly. If you had owners that said, what do you need, Oli? Do you want coaches? I'll get you new coaches. Those coaches are shit. You know, I can clearly see that you guys ain't coaching properly. Oh, see, you know what I mean? If we had owners like that that actually cared, but we don't. Enough of me going. And in fact, furthermore, we never saw Edward with there. We never saw Edward with there. He was too much of a billion chicken. He was too much busy being a chicken, hiding away from all the Manchester United fans that were allegedly were meant to walk out. Maybe he was scared that after the match, even though we drew, there would have been a couple of man them waiting for him downstairs, you know, like, yo, Ole. I mean, no, 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 yo, yo, Ed. Yo, let me talk to you, big man. Come, come outside, fam. Don't be scared, man. Let me talk to you, bro. Let's talk to you. Come, big man. Come out your yard, fam. Come out your yard, man. Come out your car. Come out. Let's, let's have a quick chat. Ten men up. Buried up, waiting for him. Outside Old Trafford. Tell him, let's talk, man. You know when people tell you like that? Let's talk. You know... You know you don't want to come out of your house or come out of your car or come out of the stage. You know what's really going to happen, isn't it? Like, if you're from the hood, guys, sorry for you guys who came up growing up in the suburb, you know, not knowing what it's like <laughs> growing up in the hood. When man them knock on your door, mm -hmm, and you look through that people and you see, you see pitch black, but, but you can hear bare people outside. And then when you can see a glimpse of light through that people, and you see bare man standing outside your house, saying, you to come out, fam. Just want to have a quick talk with you, quick chat, you know. No, no one's there now. Don't be scared. You know when they say stuff like, don't be shook, fam. Don't be shook, fam. Just come out. Let's talk, fam. Let's have a chat. There's no talking, by the way, guys. There is no talking. It's... <coughs> oh, 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 my chest. I'm bleeding, man. That's what happens. So yeah, man. But guys, enough of me talking like that. But yeah, let's go straight, straight, straight into my man in the match who I thought was Bruno Fernandes, guys. Bruno Fernandes was absolutely amazing in terms of linking up play, showing a lot of qualities of his leadership, shining up it, pointing to players that this is where you need to pass to. That's what I like. I like players that tell me, yo, you pass to me and then you pass there, bro. I pass back to you, but you're going to pass there. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, it was showing true leadership skills in midfield. That's what we need. And my donkey of the match is Andres Pereira. Because he was absolutely shit. He was pulling. He was pants. Andres Pereira, just go home today, bro. Go home. Go home to Brazil. You need a holiday as well. Daniel James as well needs a holiday. But yeah, guys, we dropped down to six. You know. And that's it, guys. My match review done. Guys, this, is the, this was the last game until the two, two weeks winter break, guys. So, you won't be seeing any more match reviews until the next game, guys, you know. Um, but you will be having a catch-up every Saturday, you know. Whether it gets released between midday. I always plan to release it by midday. So, guys, always watch out between probably 12 to 2, latest 2, it will be out. And, of course, yeah, let's just continue and keep continue enjoying this, guys. I've, I've always loved doing this, you know. And I'm enjoying it, guys. Guys, do remember to follow Silence is Power on Instagram. It is at Silence is Power 2017 for hats like these, you know, all varieties of colours, you know. Also, what's called cool track suits and etc. And um, cool bummer jackets as well. You will love it if you just go on to the, what's called to the Instagram page, scroll up. And if you want to purchase, just hit the um, direct message, the DM, and then what's called get into contact with the owner. And then here for there, you can just make your order. And also, guys, do remember to follow my personal Instagram page, which is at Ivorian underscore Spice, for across all social media platforms, Twitter, and Snapchat, and Instagram. And do remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, guys. Red United TV, which is at Red United M U F C, guys. That's Red Unite at Red United M U F C. Follow follow and then subscribe to this page subscribe to red united tv guys all the links for everything that i've just mentioned is down below in the description guys just remember to just smash a like and tell me who your man in the match was tell me who your donkey of the match was as well you know if it's not andrew Pereira, who else was it if it's not bruno friends who was your man in the match was it fred you know tell me guys what you thought about today's match as well also don't remember once more again remember to subscribe and smash that like button guys and tell everyone about me. Peace out, boys. Peace out.